Hey guys, Doug with Pine Tree Lion Productions. I'm out here with Storm. Out here to do a review of this. Meal Cold Weather, menu number two. Chicken Spicy Oriental with Rice. And I'm here in the back country of Northern Ontario. It's about minus six degrees, so that qualifies as cold. It's actually uh, getting near spring here and you're starting to feel the warmer temperatures. Sun is shining. I'm standing right now on a frozen lake. <laughs> and there's the dog. You know what? It's still it's still frozen, but I wouldn't be going out too far on it. I just like to thank and, and give a huge shout out to Tracy Phillips, my brother from Arkansas. Thank you for sending this along my way. Tracy is one of the most generous people I've ever met in my entire life. He's a beauty. He's an adopted Canadian for sure. That's how, that's how nice he is. So thanks again, Tracy. Really appreciate it. Looking forward to trying this one. All right, guys. The beauty of meal cold weather uh, meals is the fact that Nothing in here is going to freeze and it's meant to be used in cold temperatures and snowy conditions, I guess. And all you really need is water. And for today, uh, got some water here and got some hot water in the thermos here. Brought the tray, got the dog who's, I'm at her level, so she's very curious. Plus she's hearing all the, the water under the ice making a lot of noise as things are melting here. And that's pretty scary, right? Yeah, okay. So we got a peelable seal. I did bring a knife, of course, just in case, because I always seem to have trouble with these things. I'm gonna give it a go. And as expected, didn't work out too good. So, so we'll have a look at everything that's in here. Whoop. All right, so we got our main, freeze-dried oriental style spicy chicken and vegetables with rice. And that's from Mountain House, nut raisin mix. We got an apple cinnamon flavor first strike bar. I got my dog right in the middle. We got a spoon. Beverage powder, lemon lime, which is great. I love lemon lime. Cranberries, sliced cranberries. In the back here, we got a date code of 8120, so it looks like the 120th day of 2018 would be the year on this one. So that's, in my opinion, very fresh for me. And we have our accessory pack. Got a, got some hot sauce, moist towelette, some TP, uh, creamer non-dairy. So we're gonna have some coffee here. We got Bill's Brew instant coffee. Never tried that before. We had a couple of chiclets fall out. One pack of sugar for the coffee. And a pack of matches. We got some white tip. We got the main, which looks pretty beefy. It looks pretty thick. So it'd be lots of food there. So let's get things started with uh, getting some hot water into the main. All right, so let's cut that mountain house open. You gotta be right in the middle of the things, eh? Doesn't smell like much, but it looks looks pretty cool. All right, we got our spoon. All right, so we got hot water here. I believe the proper amount to add is 16 ounces. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna wing it here. That's hot. And I'm gonna add a little bit more. Give it a little stir. Especially in the corners as best I can. 
under the circumstances. All right. So we're gonna let that sit for 10 minutes or so. All right, so we got a couple of cups here. I'm gonna throw in the Bill's Brew instant coffee. Doesn't look like much coffee. All right, so we're gonna add some, some sugar. And the non-dairy creamer, we're gonna use the knife once again. Look at that in there. So there, we'll give you a little look in there. Dog wants to look too, back. All right, so we'll add some hot water. All right, so we'll give that a little stir. Lemon lime beverage. And that's got a tear notch, so that came out nice. And I'm just gonna pour everything into the cup. And that's a lot of powder for this cup, but I like a sweet drink. I'm gonna throw some water in there. I can actually feel the ice beneath me. I can hear it and feel it moving and I think that's freaking the dog out. So this is a little much for this cup, so and just throw that in there. No storm. Alright, and I'm just gonna throw more water. So we can get, actually get a good drink. That was wishful thinking on using the smaller glass. No problem. We have other ways. Pretty chunky. That's yeah, not dissolving very well. That's about the best I can do with it right now. All right, let's open the rest of this stuff. Apple cinnamon flavored first strike bar. Just what you expect. And in the colder temperatures, it'll snap like that. No, you can't have that. Uh, nut raisin mix. Smells good. Looks good. Oh, let my dog try it first. And sliced cranberries. Put that there. And here. Keep the dog happy. So, let's give this a try. Got some peanuts. Some different kinds of nuts actually. Some chocolate, candy covered chocolate, and some raisins. Looks pretty good. It's really good. I'm gonna wash it down with some coffee. Coffee's good. All right. Sliced cranberry. I like cranberries, I love cranberries. Really good cranberries. Tastes very, actually very fresh. They're very sweet. Very nice texture on them, actually. Really good. All right, we're gonna try the apple cinnamon first strike bar. Not you. They're very tasty. And the apple cinnamon's actually a really good one. I'm gonna try the lemon lime drink, which is pretty chunky. I'm gonna try stirring it a little bit more here. Um, the flavor's not bad. It, it's I probably put a little too much water now, but I was trying to dissolve it a little bit better, and it just wasn't dissolving. I mean, something you could do with that is just pour a little hot water instead of cold water. Hot water gets in your system faster when it's really cold, anyways. So actually, probably better to mix it with a little bit of hot water, and then if you wanted to cool it down a little bit with some cold water, 
or just have it with hot water is fine. Probably would have been a better decision. As it turns out, it would have dissolved the crystals a lot better than the cold water did. Let's have a look at the main. My dog's very anxious for this as well. There's just a ton of food there and it's spilling everywhere. A little too much water, guys. Good thing we're outside. A lot of food, a lot of water, too much water. Probably should have measured instead of eyeballed. My dog will love this. We got some peppers in there. We got some green beans, rice, chicken, mushrooms. I'm gonna give that a shot. Very good. Excellent. I think my dog's loving it too. Hey. So yeah, you might want to uh, <laughs> measure the water. Sometimes that's difficult when you're out in the field or you're out camping or hunting or what have you, that you may use one of these meals as a civilian. Uh, thing is, like this cup has measurements on it, so there's no real excuse for me other than uh, just being too lazy to, <laughs> to measure it out. And then you don't have this, uh, this kind of mess, but it's, the taste is still there. We're outside, we can leave a little bit of, uh, a little bit of juice out here. It won't matter uh, too much. All right, guys, so overall, I have to say this is a great meal. I've never had a real issue ever with the Mountain House uh, freeze-dried meal, especially in the meal cold weathers. They're always terrific. A1, very tasty, always very fresh because they're freeze-dried, they taste great. Uh, so what you're looking at is the other components to see if they've they've lasted. And a ration this, uh, this new, no issue there. Uh, everything's great. Really enjoyed it. You're not going to go hungry. This is a, this is a, a lot of food. Again, thanks Tracy Phillips. Really appreciate you sending this to me. Love trying it. Storm loved it too. And she'll get a little bit more of this uh, before we're all done here. And we're just gonna eat this. Enjoy the outdoors as it's getting a little warmer here in Northern Ontario. Listen to the ice crack and listen to the wind blow a little bit here. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. We do uh, MRE reviews, you know, periodically. Not as much as the other guys, but I do enjoy watching everybody else do their reviews. We enjoy doing them. We enjoy being out in the outdoors. Subscribe if you haven't. Give us a like and uh, thanks so much for coming by. We're on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.